Hi everyone, I'm Chris Broadfoot. Welcome to another Google Maps Developer Relations screencast. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to get started with the Google Maps API. All you'll need is your favorite text editor and the web browser of your choice. If you're feeling confident, please follow along. If not, just watch all the way through to get an overview. Let's start with Hello World, or you could call it Hello Map. Fire up your text editor and start with a blank HTML page. We first need somewhere to put our map. We'll use an HTML div element. Next, we'll need to include the Maps API bootstrap. The web browser will download the necessary code to display maps on your page. You'll notice the sensor parameter. You need to set this to true if your map is doing something with the GPS, like using HTML5 geolocation. If not, you can safely set it to false. We need some code to run when the page has loaded. The easiest way to do this is to add an onload handler to the body tag. The code will run when the page is fully loaded. Inside the initialization function, we create a new map. Everything in the Google Maps API is namespace under google.maps. The map constructor takes two parameters. The first is the map container, in our case, an HTML div element, and the second is a set of map options. Let's first ignore the map options and just create a map. Since the div is empty, it has no height. The map won't be visible. We can use some CSS to give it some height. Let's refresh the page, and we can see that the div sits nicely on the page, but there's no map. It's just gray. It turns out some options aren't really optional. There are three required options to display a map. Center, zoom, and map type ID. The center is a lat-long object. They're coordinates in the world where you want your map to be centered. Zoom specifies how zoomed in the map should be. Zoom level zero means the map is zoomed all the way out and you can see the whole world. Changing map type ID will change the base map. Here we're using road map, but you could use satellite for instance. If we refresh the page, voila, we see our map. What's next? Head over to the Google developers website, check out the tutorials and documentation. Before you make your map live, be sure to get a Maps API key. Thanks for listening. Now get out there and start building the next awesome map app.